Good afternoon, everyone. It is an absolute honor to get to share this special moment with you all today. First of all, I'd like to say a huge heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates for reaching this milestone in your life because it is indeed no small feat. I remember being in your position six years ago, and if I'm not mistaken, my year 13 graduating class had a wee 13 students. And I'm sure some of you might be wondering, what on earth are they up to now? And on behalf of my former classmates and I, I will gladly give you a quick rundown. Today, some of us are still in school for a bachelor's degree, while some of us have gone back for our master's. Some of us work nine to five corporate jobs, while others are freelancers, working something entirely different from what we initially went to school for. But despite all our differences, one thing that all 13 of us do share in common is that none of us are married. And I mentioned this all to say that even with just 13 people, we have made such drastically different sets of choices since graduating high school, some of which were right for us and some of which definitely were not. And so for you guys, in a quickly changing world where you're constantly bombarded with new information and opinions, how do you make a decision that is individually correct for you? Not for anybody else, just for you. Well, first things first. All the answers that you have ever needed or need right now or will ever need are always within you and available to you. It is only a matter of understanding how the answers are communicated to you. We have been taught to use our minds or our thinking caps to logically analyze a scenario down to the nitty gritty in order to make the best choice. And while the mind is in fact an incredible tool for weighing out the pros and cons of a choice, that is about as far as you should trust it for, because it has the tendency to second guess itself and get rather carried away in the process. That said, there is another place that you can listen to that can truthfully give you the answer that you need, and that is your body intelligence. So you may have heard of it referred to as a gut feeling or a hunch or an unexplainable instinct. Call it what you will, but the body never lies. Our bodies are constantly trying to tell us something, but we've learned to dismiss it, calling these signals irrational or unsound. Maybe you have a very distinct gut feeling in the pit of your belly that squirms or flips. Listen to it. And if you're the emotional type, wait out your emotional wave before you try listening to your body again. And perhaps you have this immediate inner knowing that you just can't put into words. It comes and goes as quick as a flash. No explanation, no reasoning, nothing. For some, what you blurt out of your mouth without a filter is your truth. For others, you might not be able to sit quietly and decide how you feel about something, but instead you might need to talk to someone else, use them as a sounding board, and see how their response makes you feel. And while that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take on all of their opinions, it's more so that when they do support or criticize what you have to say, that you take a moment to really watch your reaction. Listen to this reaction.
because we've been so out of touch with our bodies for such a long time, it might take a while for you to understand correctly what it wants to say again. It will take some trial and error and a fair share of misunderstandings between you and your body. But just like with any relationship, all you really need is practice, patience, and a healthy dose of grace for yourself when you mess up along the way. It's so hard. You definitely, you on the strap thing. Oh, okay. Went out. Have you done this before? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, each of us is designed to be unique. Each of us operates and makes choices in a specific way like no other person in this room. So with the next decision that comes your way, I invite you to listen to your body just a little bit more. <clears throat> Allow your body's intelligence to take the wheel. And as for the logical mind that likes to analyze, just let it sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride while your body leads the way. Thank you.